Hello there, people who record sounds uh, for Sync Picture. This is a little test video comparing the radio range from uh, WIPS versus the Audio Wireless Distro with a set of um, Electrosonics SNA 600A. A little, give a little view up here. As you can see, my little selfie cam. Kaboom. These are the bad boys. Um, those antenna are Deerpole, so there's like a donut pickup pattern from each of them. Um, so they're traveling in little five meter BNC 50, 50, um, at 50 ohm cable, sorry, going into the distro directly. Um, and then the, direct, uh, the distro itself is feeding um, one electrosonics on one channel, as you can see in the little uh, pop-up, which is gonna be probably around here, I think. Um, and then you'll see my selfie video here as I walk away. You're gonna see a test of the range. Um, you'll see the RF meters as they go up and down and where they disappear with the whips and also um, with the distro. Um, it'll be marked left and right side of the speakers to let you know which one's which. I'm currently on a COS 11, um, just a little clip here, just so you can see, kablam. Um, on a SMDB on 606, we did a scan before this and the airwaves are completely clean, so the only people here transmitting is me. So I will now go for a walk and you'll see what falls out first, the whips and the distro, and then we'll see how far each of them goes. On the um, right hand side of the screen over here, you will probably find there'll be a little map that I'll put out as well. Um, so yeah, see you soon folks. Well, see you now actually. So here we go. Going for a walk. Um, spin this round correctly, just so I make that a little bit easier for myself. Uh, so as you can see, here are, here's the kit right here, walking away um, using an audio wireless DADM226. It's an analog distro um, uh, that I bought directly from Aldo at Audio Wireless. Uh, he's a great guy, gave me lots of information. Um, hello, Aldo, how are you doing there, brother? Uh, it's good to see you at Sound Pro the other day. Um, so, well, I have some things to talk about while I go for my nice little walk. Um, so, the DADM. 226 has uh, two output BNC ports which uh, push out the, um, sorry, they receive on the two uh, BNC ports. Um, so you have a, an A and a B channel. Um, that feeds uh, six pairs, so 12 in total, but six pairs of um, little SMA uh, clips. Now the SMA clips can be very usefully powered. So if you have a Micron or one of the newer um, radio setups that can take power from um, from a distro directly without having to feed it a power source otherwise you can turn those, those on you can do those individually as well which is pretty damn cool because it means you can decide what's what what power goes where and how far it goes and so on and so forth um, and just manage your systems um, the distro itself takes a current of uh, 130 milliamps so it's pretty damn small um, I found in using it for the past year I rarely ever turn it off. Um, basically, I have the whole thing rigged up on one uh, Heroes cable that's fed from an MP1, of which the, uh, the distro itself has a Heroes input, one of those, and then three Heroes outputs. So it can distribute power and, and push that to wherever you need it. Um, it's very useful, so if I'm turning all my radios off for lunch, I have, I have my three SRB typically set up on that and I will um, yeah, just hit one switch and they'll go off and hit one switch and they'll come back alive again, which is pretty cool. Now, um, so we've covered that. The DADM has analog filters in it, which is probably one of the biggest selling points. It means it cleans up all the stuff below and above um, 470 to 715 millihertz, which is very, very, very cool. Um, so it means if you have some crazy stuff going down below, or as we've seen at the moment, there's lots of, uh, lots of phone signal stuff taking place in, um, uh, where is it taking place? Uh, they're selling off some of the higher chunks. So we lost channel 65 a few years ago, um, or 63 if you will, and, uh, and 69 as well. We're constantly losing the upper spectrum. So I'm told that Ofcom is selling off 700 millihertz now. We've lost, we don't have most of 800 millihertz. Um, so as those signals come down, these filters, which um, Older tells me take, take off up to 70 decibels, um, of that surrounding signal, uh, it makes it just much cleaner for what's going on with the radio signals which you have and the radio signals which you want, which is great. Um, I imagine we shouldn't 
Probably got some dropouts somewhere along here. Um, okay. Let's go for the tough test, shall we? We're gonna go to the furthest exit, which then goes to a, um, uh, past a little nursery. A little bit more about the uh, DADM226. Um, has noise isolation of up to 20 decibel or more, in fact, on each output, which is good. So each of the SMAs is pushing out, which is, which is uh, goes to your, or feeding your, um, your radio receivers. They have actual isolation on those, which is grand. Um, uh, is there anything else I know of it? Uh, Upon directly speaking to Older, I found out that each one of the SMAs also self-terminates. So if you don't plug something into them, you can sometimes lose on other um, distros a little bit of signal there, or it can it can uh, just confuse things a bit, or add some some uh, you know, some RF flatulence, if you will. Um, but they, if you don't plug something in, then it self-terminates there, which is grand. And I believe it also has quite a number of fail-safes. So if you plug something in incorrectly. Um, it's not going to blow up, which is always useful in this game because it's good to have uh, health, health of kit. Um, well, that pretty much covers most of the elements for the DAD M226. Uh, so yeah, I've walked pretty far. We should probably should be getting some dropouts now in the distro from previous tests that I've done. Um, we've gone way out of Ravenscourt Park. We're pretty much near the, the north end of that. I'm now exiting, as you can see. Uh, I've been walking quite a, quite a while. My arm's getting quite tired holding this phone. Don't know how Matt Price does it all the time. Um, and now we're about to enter Hammersmith. I imagine there's probably some dropouts taking place on the, uh, the transmitter from my hip. We placed it on the hip because it's pretty much a, um, typically in a lot of uh, drama situations, we like to, um, we like to put the transmitter more on the more to the back of the ribs, if not the side nowadays, because it means it gets around backpacks and kind of shows the RF uh, the RF antenna around the body because we don't always get to point terror for a minute people's backs, so we get some range there. Okay, quite far now into Hammersmith Road. Um, just Hammersmith for you, uh, just down the road from the Brickmail Bottom Landmark for those who. Who know and love uh, the man in this book? R.I.P. Mr. Mail. Player. Um, so at this point, we've probably found the end of the range. So I will now uh, take a walk back and see how we go. Ah. Nice, busy, nice, busy day here. Just trying to find my way across this busy road without dying. Now, personally, I've owned the uh, DADM226 for pretty much a year. I got mine in September, late August, September um, 2017. We're now in 2018, October 2018. Um, that's, uh, so I've had a good, good year's run of it. I found the unit to be incredibly simple in that I set it up once and it works. And that's it, pretty much. Um, you don't have to adjust much really it's more a case of just managing what you send power to when and where and how i've been using passive electrosonics deer poles so i've not been feeding power to anything yet but you can feed power from the outputs to any active antenna which is good gives you that option to play with just entering now this is uh back into ravenscourt park where where the, the station is set up um the unit itself isn't very heavy I have mine integrated into my bag um, and for like little PSC or the rare times I have to hang my bag off my body, um, the whole thing is just in the bag and just sits in the, in the bottom which is good uh, and it has a little one meter right angle extension that comes off and goes into the deer pole that live in the front of the bag so I just open the top zip up, whip up the top of the deer pole, um, zip it up again just to secure it and, and just yeah, make sure nothing else gets in the bag. And off it goes. It does its job. It gives me that extended range, which is quite nice. You get quite a number of decibels of passive gain. I believe a one meter cable length, which is what I have in the bag, I get around five and a half dB. Someone's probably going to comment and correct me on this, so feel free. Um, I wouldn't claim to be an authority on this. Um, 
but uh, by all means, Aldo, if you want to chime in here, tell us exactly what's going down, um, what kind of dB loss we'll have from the passive gain on a pair of uh, Diapol antenna with um, one meter and five meters of uh, 50 ohm BNC cable. That'd be quite interesting to know, um, just for reference, really. Uh, there have been very few situations where the setup hasn't really won for me, to be honest. I've done quite a few little little war zone tests in central London in the year that I've had this. Um, it's not that it flies around corners, but it certainly means I can... I've done a number of situations where I am stationed around a corner from where the action's taking place, and I'm getting signals pretty damn clean and well. Um, one of the things I found that has won exceptionally well with this situation is putting um, radio TXs on a boom and having those TXs mounted at the, the end of the pole and I get incredible length, incredible distance off it. I had one recently with a, one of my assistants, Taz, Taz Fairbank. She was on a boat with me. Um, she disappeared to the point where I could barely make her out. And thankfully due to her positioning of the boom, like she understood what the RF was gonna be doing in that, that position and also how she was swinging the, the mic, which was the scalpel, what we call the scalpel, uh, the Sankin TS3. Beautiful mic that is unforgiving to beginners, which is kind of good and bad. You don't want to give it to a beginner anyway, who, who does? Um, uh, yeah, she managed to get, get that signal off the action boat to me on the hero boat with my antenna hidden, uh, hidden into the mast. And that worked quite well. I got lots of clean recordings where production didn't think we were. And I insisted we could, we could, we could make it work and make it work safely. And we did, we won the day on that one, it was great. And I believe the, the distro, it certainly helped us with that. It, keep, it kept everything clean, basically. It stopped any other bullshit or anything we didn't want going into the RF coming at us, bro. Okay, we're approaching the mothership now. Uh, where are we? Just somewhere here, I think. Nearly back. Ah. This has been a nice long walk and talk. Um, so you'll see on the screen that way, if I'm correct. I may have inverted it in mentally in my mind somehow. But you'll see on that screen, there'll be a little map showing the distance I've traveled, the journey I've been on. And then on the left, as I've mentioned, uh, somewhere down here, I'm gonna have a readout of the, uh, the SRB, showing you the radio um, reception on the little, there's like a little signal that comes up and gives you an idea of where it's getting its signal via the uh, dual input antenna setup. So where it's switching from and, and how well it's doing. Um, so you'll be able to see distinctly, as well as here, but you'll be able to see distinctly what the RF is doing, which is pretty cool. And then obviously this screen, as you can see. Hi. Ah, here we are, we're getting pretty close now to returning to base camp. Where are we? Just here. Shiplap. Ah, nearly there now. Nice little bit of walking. And that will be that. Have a little test to see how the DADM um, with a pair of DADM226 analog distro with a pair of uh, Electronics SNA 600A Diapole versus the standard Electrosonics um, articulatable, great word, articulatable um, whips going directly into an SRB. <sighs> hey guys, did you enjoy that multi camera? Um, v-blogging if you will on, on this, this device so there you go there's the test you saw where we dropped out and you saw where we came back you saw how far we went and you saw what was doing and where it was doing it so there's a lot of w's there so yeah hope you enjoyed the video and see you all around <laughs>